Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome to another quick After Effects tutorial. So today we're looking at creating shadows in your films and uh, for your productions. So I'm going to give you a quick tip on literally how to do this. So at the moment I've got a just a standalone picture, very low resolution, uh, 800 by 600. And what I'm just going to do is drop that into my comp window. Um, and we're going to basically work on creating a shadow for this vehicle on the floor. Now, obviously you can do this with moving footage as well. Um, you know, bear in mind the footage will have to be tracked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that in the next video. Um, so we're going to have some moving footage of a vehicle um, with a shadow uh, connected to it as well. Um, to sort of give you a rough idea how we would actually do this. Okay. So first of all, we've obviously dragged it into our new comp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to make that solid a black. Click OK, and then I'm going to make that comp size and click OK. Um, so with our black selected, I'm going to just basically open this up here. Um, open my transform, and then I want to just bring the opacity down uh, just a touch. So. I can basically just see the vehicle, okay? So about there, okay, so that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our masking tool. And obviously we want the shadow of this section of the vehicle here, like so with the wheels. And we want it sort of parented to the floor here, um, so it actually matches. So I'm just going to sort of zoom in. And what I'm going to do is say, for instance, I'll probably start here with a light. Um, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick sort of mask around the vehicle here. Nothing special. I mean, you can have it neat, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and you'll see why in a second. I'm just going to bring this down here. Bring the mask all the way down. Um, remember to get the wheels in very important that we get the wheels in bring it all the way across this is a bit rough because I'm doing it uh, quickly all the way around here and I'm just going to sort of bring it all the way around give it a bit of a curve here so we're literally just doing sort of this portion of the car here as you can see uh, nothing special and what we're going to do is we're going to bring our opacity back up to 100% so it's jet black and we can close this for now and what we're going to do is we're going to make this a 3d layer like so then what we're going to do is we're going to get sort of a rotation tool here and we're just going to try and sort of position it sort of flat like this it might be a bit awkward so you'd probably have to sort of you know play around with the way the layer is so what I want to do is I just want to sort of bring it around and match uh, the wheels to each other so let's just select that and sort of bring this out maybe and bring this across sort of bring it down bring it across maybe sort of come over just a tad and uh, let's get a rotation tool we want to sort of get this as close to here um, as possible say to about there sort of rotate it down maybe like so let's just uh, bring that out and just bring this then we're gonna open it up so just to get the uh, position right we can play around with our sort of position here as you can see um, our orientation like so um, maybe scale this up just a touch like so and maybe just bring this sort of down it, it can be a bit fiddly but just persist with it bring this sort of down like so let's get this little tool here and maybe sort of bring it down and let's 
go forward and then sort of bring it along bring it down we're just sort of trying to sort of flush it to the pavement if that makes sense and bring it down like so like that and then simply all we're going to do is we're going to click back on our solid hit M on the keyboard um, like let's hit M on the keyboard again and let's switch this off like so so we've got a bit of an ambient sort of thing um, and let's take the 3d layer off let's, no switch the 3d layer on sorry I do apologize about that sort of bring it back like this and let's just hit F on the keyboard and let's really just feather the hell out of this like so okay and then let's just close that reopen it and then let's work on our opacity again we're going to open the transform and just bring the opacity down sort of just a touch maybe just a bit high actually so we've got some sort of shape of the vehicle um, actually casting a shadow sort of on the floor and let's just bring this over bring it down bring it over bring it down sort of bring it over and maybe let's do a bit of um, scaling down like so and just bring it over maybe just rotate it a little bit as well Now a lot of people do sort of like a like a sort of black sort of square I feel that doesn't give the full sort of benefit of the actual shadow of the vehicle um, but as you can see um, we're getting a nice looking um, shadow effect here um, which sort of synchronizes what what the actual vehicle is basically leaving always remember when you're doing shadows guys you know it all depends on where the sun is shining um, you know the ambient lighting so on and so on but if you look at that nicely um, especially down here we've got a lovely sort of shadow effect uh, that the car's leaving on the floor um, and it looks really nice and it sort of adds to the production as well um, so I hope you found this little tip helpful guys always remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.